It is Friday. It is Friday of a very long week. It's been a hot week. It has. Um, air conditioners work great all week, so I haven't had just too bad. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But uh, there has been some times going in shops just like, man, I don't miss this. It's hot, man. You know, it some sucks. of the shops are lucky enough to have air, some of them's not. The ones that's not, it really all depends on uh, what's crazy is the way the building's placed, you know, the way the wind's blowing, the way the sun's coming in, is it coming right in on you and stuff like that. So, yeah. uh, I think my shop is probably one of the hottest I've ever been in as far as, I guess, because it's just got the door in the center on each end and it's so big, it sucks. Yeah. I know but. there's a, there's one shop on my route, and I talk about it every time I go there to the guy. He's got it positioned just right. And then he has two big shop fans on one end, uh, or exhaust fans, I should say. And he it, it it makes it to where during the dead of summer, it feels cool in there. So you think the air's on, he has no air. But also when you go to open this door, you hear the suction break. And when you open it and you stand in front of it, you feel the air being sucked in. So it feels wow. like air conditioning. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's nice. uh, he's got it figured out on that shop, but. What? Did you leave Mama Matco at home? Today? I did. Let this her week. Have a day off, huh? Well, uh, I actually let her off this week. I, wait a minute, back up. She told me she was going to be off this week, and I said, Yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, we had a lot of stuff going on this week. It was the start of school, so we had um, my uh, oldest daughter started seventh grade, and it was her birthday yesterday. And then my middle daughter started kindergarten. And we started that yesterday. That was a big too. day. Yeah. So uh, I was late yesterday, and I actually come home early just to see how what kind of day she had. <laughs> uh, well, we had a fantastic first kindergarten day. We've been hyping my daughter up since uh, the last day of school last year for kindergarten. Like yeah. we've been trying to make it to where um, she would have a great day, and she did. I That's mean, good. she you That's know good. she told me she made nine friends. Dang, so that's great. And she she said she I asked her what she liked most about it. Of course, it was recess. Yeah, yeah. And uh, then I asked her what she didn't like about it because everybody's got something they don't like. She's, she said she liked everything. So can't beat that. Which my wife actually subbed there a couple of times. So actually, she subbed there for a year, pretty much all year. So a lot of the teachers know her. So we were getting pictures all day uh, of her having fun and stuff. Yeah, so. That's good. It was nice, but we I, got a fantastic school here. We are very lucky. We've got a really good school. That's one thing I can say. Uh, I hated school, but I didn't hate the school. Yeah. Um, I just hated being there all day. That's me. Uh, <laughs> now that I'm an adult and, and out of it and actually have a real job, I thought that was a job. It wasn't so bad. It was actually kind of fun. And that's oh, I'd what go I, back and do it all over again. That's kid. what I told my uh, oldest daughter. Uh, at the beginning of this year, I told her, I said, look, I know there's going to be times this year to where you absolutely hate that homework or you hate this, but I guarantee you when you graduate and you start your, yeah. whatever your job is, whatever life path you choose, you're going to wish that you had enjoyed that a little bit more. Absolutely. But, uh, she had a first day. She had a great first day. Good birthday yesterday. My son, I'm late this morning because it's his birthday. So I was going to stay and wish him a happy birthday, but he's decided to stay asleep. So I guess I'll wish him a happy birthday at lunch. But well, that's good. But so we're we're partying it up. We partied last weekend. We're going to do it again this do weekend. Again. There you go. But enough of that. We do have a couple of new things on the truck this week. New things. We like new things. Yeah, uh, we have a fillet knife. That was a been a popular item this week, uh, as you can tell. They picked the favorite color of everybody up. Uh, it seems to be. I know a lot of people like green and stuff as well, but this is the most popular color right now. So if you're in the market for a fillet knife, you got one. Cool. But not really a tool. Well, I guess it, 
good looking. Look at you throwing stuff down. Knocked off the Matco magnetic rail. That's all right. I do it all the time. You have to put it on like there you there go. There we go. Sorry about that. Yeah, that paint chip's not very strong back there. Um, that's I mean this could be a contour, but another thing we've been showing is we actually run across, uh, across these. Yeah, uh, those are. Have you played with those to see how strong they are? I haven't had to. You uh, need to try that. I but let me give you a piece of advice. If you lay them down on the table and you got your, you know how you'll like pull magnets yeah. apart? If your skin of your finger gets between them. It's gonna hurt. You're gonna get a blood blister. So I actually just had these up on the, the shelf. I had a couple packs of them. And one of my body shop guys was like, hey, I wanna try these out. I said, okay. They're stout. After he called me back, I have one left. He, he bought the other ones. Um, he really likes them. So we're gonna get, get some more. number, cause I gotta show these to everybody. These things are amazingly strong. Well, and when I read the description on them and I saw that, I, you know, I was like, man, some of them panels are heavy. So I hope these things are strong. He said he didn't have any problem. Yeah. Um, like I didn't if, go if you want to sell those, the easiest way for you to sell them is open them up and stick them on this pry bar. <laughs> I promise you, as heavy as that Dominator pry bar is, you could take one of those and put it on the end of it. I guarantee you it will lift that entire pry bar. Yeah, uh, and I may do that. I, They're I'll, ridiculously strong. Yeah, I only have one pack left, but I may do that. Just uh, I'm a tool fanatic all the way around, so um, I like to. Are bad. <laughs> yeah. They are really bad. Like I was playing with them because, um, you know, we went down there to VIM when I shot that video and stuff and those were brand new at the time and we played with them and they have, they had big steel panels there. It was like, um, maybe three sixteenth sheet metal. And you could pick that whole piece up with one of those magnets. That's crazy. They're, I don't know how they get them so strong to be that small. They're, they're stupid strong. The, I mean, I'm sure it has to do with uh, the the type of metal and the way that they go about the process, but uh, either way they figured it out. That's all that matters. Yeah. Like you could open your refrigerator door with them as a refrigerator <laughs> magnet. They're bad. <laughs> they are bad. I'd get my finger caught or something. I'd be the one pinching my skin. Like I was sitting there playing with them on the table, just messing with them, pulling them apart, you know? Yeah, that's when I figured out they will get your finger. They're they're stout. Well, you know, I ain't never thought about it, but uh, a lot of times they're using like vice grips and stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. So the fact that you can use that magnet and then do it just as well, that's just a, now don't forget it on there, yeah. but that's just a, you know, a quick way to do it. And quarter panels and stuff like that, I can see, uh, yeah. I'm not that skilled to cut one out and put one back in, mm -hmm. but uh, they are, so. Yeah, I've seen Bungle Collision up here. I went up there one day and they was cutting out metal those guys are good man yeah They're i worked really in a good. body shop um for a little while when i first got on, into the automotive world and um they let me do a lot of stuff to try to ease into it and it was great i loved it i saw cars you know it, it's hard to imagine seeing a car without a quarter panel mm -hmm. but when you see a complete roof out of one or they do a floor plan uh, a four uh floor pan mm -hmm. Man, I'm gonna tell you what. Um, I didn't. First off, you don't realize how these cars are kind of puzzled together. Mm -hmm. uh, you it's just pretty cool to see it. it it's almost. I don't. I don't know if it was just me, but it's almost like man, this car is like stamped or something. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I thought, but I didn't know there was as much um, mm -hmm. tack welded and, and or actually welded. It ain't tack welded, but. You know, there's all the pinch welds and a lot stuff. Of and glue now too. That's well, nice. you know, a lot of your door skins. The first time they let me do a door skin, uh, I took the old one off and then I put the new one on, and I was like, all right, how do we, well, how do we do it? And they're like, oh, well, we're gonna put glue here and here, and then we're gonna roll this, and we're gonna tack weld right here, and we're done. And it's like, wait, what? Glue. So, on, so we're that's we're great. gluing it, and now we're rolling it. And they're like, yeah, that's that's it. And I'm like, no, this can't be it. And then you start looking, and yeah, <laughs> most of most of your door skins yeah. is glue. And then um, you take, I don't have one of the tools right now, but they actually make a tool that rolls that edge on the bottom, so it pinches it around. Right. So now we're being, you know, we, we've got it held. Uh, it's just like I learned. I've I have shut many a doors and heard that 
you know, that um, tin can effect. Mm -hmm. Never knew that it was, hey, well, there's a fix for that. There's foam that you put right here and it fixes that. Um, learn a lot in a body shop. Yeah. Saw a lot of bad repairs from where people, you know, mm -hmm. um, didn't do it right. Uh, so I got to do a roof skin. That was pretty cool. Um, I got to help. Let me, let me back that up. I got to yeah. help. Again, I'm not skilled enough to know where to cut and stuff like that, but uh, frame shops and impressive, man. we got what a uh, we got a distributor that used to do it, and uh, he's friends uh, with me on Facebook. And I'm gonna tell you what, some of the stuff that he's posted the last couple of weeks, he's doing his own little project. It's like how how do you have, you know, it, it's artist, I guess, mm -hmm. is what they are. I don't know. Um, That's like Mark Cod <clears throat> when I went up to uh, Idaho and did that video with his shop man the stuff he did like they don't even make the replacement parts for those cars so he builds it from yeah. scratch dude he's he's amazing like he's the old school guy that's got the lead leather lead bag and well um you know, molds the wood out and stretches the metal and shrinks it and all this stuff it's well see and that's talented. uh we had a guy that worked with us he was the painter but he actually went for a interview at the museum in Tupelo before they closed the automo uh, automobile museum. And one of the things there, they wanted you to be able to do the woodwork uh, in the old cars. Mm -hmm. Of course, a lot of the newer generation don't even realize that cars used to have wood yeah. as the, the frame, as the roof, you know. Uh, and it was really cool to see all that. It was really cool to see a wooden coal. You know, you don't mm -hmm. think about that, but uh, there used to be wooden coals and stuff like that. but um that's that's pretty cool uh i can take stuff apart and put it back together these guys are, are building their own yeah. which they got a lot of you know they're using a lot of your die grinders and cutters and they're making magic happen but another thing that we've been showing off this week a lot of people has been asking about you know oh, yeah. these socket trays are really popular period um unfortunately they got super hard to get so I actually found these mechanic time savers. Um, so I ordered a couple just to see, cause I've had a lot of people wanting them. I've got one left. So, but if you're looking for one of these, um, there's this, that's something to think right. about. I know that five row that I got from you has been the best investment because what I like about it, the handles on it, you can pick the whole thing up and clean. Yep. Well, nice. the reason that I like that style so much is because everybody knows I still do a little tinkering at the house from time to time. Mm -hmm. I can take all my half inch, well not all, but I can take the majority of my half inch, three eighths and quarter sockets, pick them all up and I've got my extensions laid in between here. That's what I've got. I'm glad and I've got, here. I've got my ratchet and I'll, or impact or whatever. Most of the time a ratchet's laying down in here too. And I go out there and I go to work and it's all right there. Um, I like cases and stuff like that, but I would look, I'd look goofy if I started walking out there with three Stack different cases. cases and, um, <laughs> it's just so easy. You, you do have time from time to where if you're not careful, um, you can break one of these, but they're, they're easily replaceable. I mean, you take, I got to where I, if it's in my box now, I don't even lock them. I just set them down on the peg. I have to be careful because normally I tote mine with both handles. Yeah. Um, but I've got to where I don't remember to lock them back. Mm. And if I ever grab that thing one handle. They fall off. They fall yeah. off. I have learned <laughs> not to do that. Um, I carry it with two hands and that be it. But uh, I, like, I like the option to lock them down. Um, but I, I'm like you, when it's in my mm -hmm. box, I don't lock them down. Yep. Uh, and I try not to lock them down anyway. Um, one other thing we've been showing off to everybody is right behind you on the floor is the big chill blower it's oh, hot yeah. in mississippi right now definitely uh that's the 1200 that's uh, the one you can get the heater for yeah it? yeah that was the 1200 and i cannot keep them i ordered two just to try them and i have sold six mm -hmm. and i have that one and another one sold when it comes in we used to would put those on the side of engines and stuff and turn them on and like when we go to lunch that way they'd be cool enough when you got back you could work on them well a lot of your um a lot of your dealerships and stuff the transmissions have to be certain temperatures to do services and stuff mm -hmm. um you don't want it cold 
Right. But you also don't want it, you know, 160 degrees either. Um, Toyota's magic number was, I think, around 110, 115, somewhere in there. I can't remember. It's been a long time since I worked there, but um, that's what we would do. We'd take fans and, and put underneath it. And then you could just look at your data stream and, and watch mm -hmm. the temperature on it, uh, and it would um, help cool it off a lot quicker. Because normally you're on commission, you got your rack tied up, you need to get it off and, and get it going. And that was just one of the things that was able to help us do that so quick. Right. But I mean, I guess uh, multi-functions there. It can cool the car off, but it can also keep you cooled down in the heat too. So. That's it. In the winter time, it does pretty good with heat too. So. Well, it's moving a lot of air and it's using the electric um, elements inside of the little heater deal mm -hmm. and it blows across it so it does it throws out some heat and uh, I mean in the winter time a lot of times if you can just knock the chill yeah you know you, you ain't got to have it 70 degrees mm -hmm. just a little bit of warmth I feel great so that's true um, it is what it is but you're right all right guys want some cool tools today and like always if you like the video Hit that thumbs up. Check over for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes is down there. If you're not subscribed, click that button. You guys have a great week or weekend. See ya.